This is the sixth part of the video series to demonstrate the use of ANSYS Forte for diesel engine closed cycle simulation. Previously, we have set up all the models needed for our current example of diesel engine simulation. Now we move on to specify boundary conditions for our simulation domain. Note that each surface in the geometry has to be associated with a certain boundary condition. Since this is a sector domain that stems from periodic symmetry, we want to create a periodic boundary condition first. Make sure that both the front and the rear surfaces of the sector are included so that we make them a pair. It also computes the sector angle automatically as 60 degrees to verify the geometry being used. Now I want to set up a solid wall boundary condition for the piston, uh, which is a moving surface. I want to include multiple pieces of the surfaces from our geometry because together they constitute the whole moving piston surface. I am setting a fixed wall temperature 500K to model wall heat transfer. To specify the piston motion, I am using a slender crank definition and I am putting in the stroke as 15.24 cm and the connecting rod length as 30.48 cm. This essentially defines the range of piston motion from the bottom depth center to top depth center and it affects the compression ratio of the engine. The piston moving direction is the same as the axis of asymmetry direction, which is Z. Specifying wall boundary conditions for the cylinder head and liner are simpler because both of them are static. For cylinder head, I'm simply selecting the head surface from the geometry and putting in temperature boundary condition. For cylinder liner, we can simply copy the settings of cylinder head and change the geometry surface from head to liner. Now we have set all the boundary conditions. Note that we must make sure that all the surfaces in our simulation domain are set with boundary conditions. Now for initial conditions, since this is a closed engine cycle simulation, we need to specify the condition of the in-cylinder gas at intake valve closure or IVC. Click default initialization and you can see that we need composition, temperature and pressure for the in-cylinder gas. To specify the composition of the working fluid at IVC, you can create a new gas mixture and manually define the compositions and put in their concentration values. However, for diesel engines, you might want to consider the case of having exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR, and want to have a quick estimate of the effects of EGR on the IVC initial condition before running any CFD simulation. Forte has a IVC calculator utility for this purpose.
In the next part, I will continue introducing the IVC calculator for the initial conditions. To summarize, I have set boundary conditions for the periodic and wall boundaries. A moving wall boundary condition for the piston is set up by specifying the stroke and connecting rod length in a slider crank setting. I make sure that all the surfaces in our simulation domain are set with proper boundary conditions. This concludes the sixth part of the demonstration.